uh what up youtube um uh, i was busy making a video on um i was busy making a video for patreon because um i use reaper but to accommodate everyone who use um fl studio maybe cubase because studio one studio one doesn't have a limitation on how many plugins you can use but from other doors i know of but on uh, reaper you can use many plugins as you want and which means you can overdo things uh, for my own understanding when you have too much freedom sometimes you you can go overboard with plugins you see so on pro tools i can use the slots and create an, a nice decent um what you call a template for everyone to work so going back to the plugins i think i'll start breaking down everything without dropping the templates because sometimes people don't understand uh so let's get to the point but today let's talk about uh a mix bus uh, i use nebula i love i love this these things here um first thing first thing we're gonna hear this um the germany audio library it's a g610 it's hot they got it up and it's a clone of this they sample the sound from this so it's a sample sound uh let's listen to my vocals first let's not play with the beat or anything maybe i might just you know so you can hear what i'm saying so let's play with the vocals let's loop don't care what you do don't care what you do still fucked up still fucked up don't care what you do don't care what you do don't care what you do and i want you to pay attention on the top end like the highs just listen to the highs then i'll go back to a plugin uh this thing was um sampled from a hardware it's not a code or anything it was sampled from a hardware and i'll i'll put this i'll put the i had new york and listen to the vocals listen to the top end don't care what you do don't care what you do let me quickly break just I'm using one hand to do everything. Don't care what you do. Don't care what you do. It's not harsh like the plugin. And followed by I have an ELC24 from Team P. It's an EQ. Um it's a three band. And let's listen to this. This is what I did. Don't care what you do. Don't care what you do. Still fucked up. Still fucked up. Don't care what you do. Um. Okay. Followed by. I'm using a C C one P. You can see its own ratio. It was also sampled from the unit. And listen to this thing. People complain about this thing they take uh, so much CPU, but you can see my PC, man. I'm not running a beast machine. I only have six cores, but this thing runs nice. As long as you don't track your vocals with this and you don't put it on your vo um, tracks, just record and bounce it to, no, just put it on the other track on Pro Tools without record button on because you get so much latency when you have that thing on your tracks when recording. So make sure you put it under your tracks. After recording, just drag it down and put it on the track. And this thing is super nice, man. I compared it to um the the plugin, the soft tube. Man, this thing. Yo, oh, I don't want to say. So let's listen to this. Let me play this, then I will introduce it. Don't care what you do. Let me put it on. Don't care what you do. Still fucked up. Still fucked up. Don't care what you do. I'm compressing my vocals. Don't care what you do. 
And that's it. Don't care what you do. And I have a 37J. Listen to my vocals. Don't care what you do. Listen to the top end. Just listen to the top end. Don't care what you do. I'm adding those warmth. That warmth. Saturation. So. Let me play this. I'll take this thing off. Without the beat. Let's play this. What I love about the the Nebula preset is, man, these things they sound nice. I'm compressing, but you can't hear that I'm compressing. Um, it's an analog unit that was samples that was sampled. It's not hard, hundred percent, you know. But we do have some harmonics and all those things. So, if you have a problem with CPU, just Bounce everything, bounce everything, bounce everything and work. See, when you're using this. But me, I don't have a problem with this because I don't put them here. I don't put them on my track. I use the aux and send the signal the signal over to my tracks um, and work from there because they don't take a uh, lot of CPU when they're on an aux, on an aux channel rather than putting them here. They will take so much CPU because here I know I have nothing. I only have this, I only have this, and only have this, and EQ, and that's it. Everything was done here. Uh, so, I'm taking a lot of weight on my PC so I can have freedom working. Just balance everything, just try to balance everything on your input channel when tracking your vocals. Make sure you compress, make sure you get healthy signals, and make sure you don't overdo things see because headroom it's best even though when you're using the what you call youtube videos the youtube videos are super loud no headroom for you to master or anything unless you just um you know lower the volume and all the stuff but you can create a, a mix bus and just throw everything in here but i don't recommend you to use uh what you call the plugins compressors when throwing everything to a bus because when you record and you record you record you stack everything the compressor will fight to uh, feed everything there then you get those nastiest vocals uh, so this one i'm using here uh, as you can see the attack it's on the middle release is on the middle but even though i record vocals here um i don't even get the latency Oh, not the latency what you um uh, the um, dynamic vocals whereby a compressor is working on another vocal and the other one just you know is getting sucked out so yeah that's all 